All right, so in the previous um, the screencast, we basically set up our user interface. We've got this picture of the cat, a label, a sound component. You know, so we, we've got the look of this thing. Um, I'm going to add one more thing here in the component designer, and that's our sound. Okay, And I'm going to go to the sound component, and kind of like the image or the button had an image property, this thing has a source property. And this is the sound file that's going to play um, for us with that sound component. And I'm going to have to go grab my meow mp3 file that I had downloaded. Okay, select it. And now my sound component is set up with a sound file. Okay, so that doesn't change the way things look. But now I'm ready uh, for when I actually want to play, play the sound. Okay, so I've got this all set up. I go to the blocks editor. And... What you got to realize about programming and about apps is it's all event response. Okay, um, you know you think of programming sometimes as a recipe, like the computer's going to do this and this and this and this. Um, really, you know, at least with you know interactive apps, it's really more like a bunch of event handlers. Okay, where an event is like the user clicking on the button, and the response is whatever you want to happen. Okay, right now we've got no behavior. If I click on the button, nothing happens, right? And I want that cat to, to meow. Okay, so the way um, it works in App Inventor, there's these nice event handler blocks. And um, I clicked on my blocks. Built in, here's a bunch of blocks that do things for you, okay? But my blocks, as you'll see, there's kind of a folder for every component that was in the designer, okay? Um, so I've got my kitty button folder, for instance, and if I click on it, I get a bunch of stuff. And the green blocks are the event handler blocks. All right. Very important one is kitty button dot click, and I'm going to drag it out here. And it says when kitty button dot click do. Okay. Right now, when kitty button is clicked, nothing happens. Okay. But what I want to happen is I want a sound to play. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go to the sound component folder, and there's notice this play command. I'm going to grab it and stick it right there. Okay, and that's great. So now I believe when the kitty button's clicked, the sound will play. And if you'll remember, I set my sound component so its source, its its actual sound file is meow.mp3. All right, so let's test our behavior, our first event handler we've built. I come to the emulator, click on kitty, and it, it meows. Great, fantastic. Okay, so you've got your first kind of interactive app here. Um, let's add one more um, response to the click, and I'm going to grab a vibrate, sound.vibrate block. Now let's put it right below, and what happens is when an event occurs, like a button click, um, there's where you get your recipe, right? App Inventor is going to do that, sound up play, and then it's going to do sound up vibrate. Okay, so it'll do two things, and it does them instantaneously. Okay, so after I play my sound, I want to vibrate the phone, and I need a parameter here, and it's in milliseconds, one one thousandth of a second. So if I want to vibrate the phone for a half a second, I would put 500 in here. 500 milliseconds is 500 over a thousand seconds or one half second. So if I put that guy there, now if I click on this kitty, it's going to meow. In the emulator, of course, the emulator doesn't shake. Okay, so really to test this behavior, I got to plug in my phone. So I've got my phone here. I plug it into my computer with a USB cord. And when I do that, and I go to connect to device, I see a new um, device shows up. And it's got this weird code. That's my phone. Your phone will have a slightly different code. I click on that. It says, OK, you can only connect one device at a time. I say yes. And now you can't see this, of course, but this app, um, after this um, work gets done, it takes about tw you know, 20 seconds. The app we were showing on the emulator, the kitty, is going to show up on my phone. Okay, 
And now, if I touch the kitty, it's going to meow. And I don't know if you can hear that, but my phone's also vibrating when I, when I click on the kitty. Okay, so here's your first, you know, incredible Android app. And basically, it is a, has a single event handler. When the user clicks, we do a couple things, okay? Um, you know, most apps are more complicated. You'll have a number of event handlers, and within those event handlers, we'll do some complex things like asking questions, okay, and repeating some operations. But, you know, at least we got to start here.